it's a huge investment and we remain very grateful to the voters um, for showing up and approving $2 billion worth of investments in school infrastructure. A year from this fall, if fall goes according to plan, your child, grandchild, niece or nephew might open a new chapter in a new school. Envision modern classrooms, sophisticated technology, fresh paint, reliable HVAC. Those must have items are in Guilford County Schools $2 billion master plan to rebuild, renovate and add more than 40% of its schools. It's a community effort to build smart together. I bring you an exclusive first look inside of one of the new builds and I ask the questions parents need answers. When past, present and future collide in a historic Greensboro neighborhood, they unearth a rubric of a decades long lesson plan to grade Guilford County schools worthy of an A. We see dirt moving, what's happening? Oh, it's, it's all about site work right now. They're uh, working on the road work and they're working on the uh, underground utilities and uh, site work drainage. Ohio-based architect David Powell designed a tale of two cities. The new Peck Expeditionary K-8 Academy sits beside the Peck Elementary it's replacing. A stone's throw away, yet a universe apart. Wow. You can see the classrooms over here to the right, but they have um, walls and doors that open up. Powell uses virtual reality to transform 100-year-old hallways to havens, conventional canteens to cafes, crumbling concrete to a healthcare community clinic, and standard classrooms to sanctuaries. It's really a collaborative, very collaborative. experience. That's very, col very not collaborative. Not so much anymore sitting in a desk facing a chalkboard. It's not just how their head learns, it's how yeah. their heart learns. Thus, a heartfelt desire to wipe the slate clean. Previously, it actually leaked into the classroom and we would have to put a trash can underneath it. Oh, wow. And so we had to get a pipe extended that now, of course, as you see, drains into a sink. Peck Elementary Principal Ashley Triplett knows too well the district's patchwork of problems. This is what happens when you add on to buildings over time, right? Um, yeah. And our media center is in a separate space altogether. You see a correlation, I'm sure, with the physical environment and that ability to learn, retain information, test well, have good morale. That's right. What you want is a warm learning environment for students. And when the classrooms that they're in are cold and frigid, it's difficult, right? It's why in 2020 and 2022 elections, Guilford County voters passed a fix. Two capital bonds totaling $2 billion to rebuild and rehab 44 schools and construct seven new ones. Great communities have great schools. Uh, we've heard that from the businesses that have moved here. And, you know, I think the school that I went to elementary school in is looks like it did <laughs> a long, long time ago. GCS superintendent, alumni and mom, Dr. Whitney Oakley is hopeful about phase one's 10 projects. Six schools, including Peck, have fall 2024 finish lines. As of now, we are on track. I do think it's important to say we're not immune to supply chain issues and staffing shortages. In January, the school board asked county commissioners for $256 million more dollars. It's an amended amount still in the approval process, meant to counter inflation and competition with jet maker Boom Supersonic and Toyota breaking ground in the triad too. You're competing essentially for the same contractors, the same supplies. How have you been able to navigate that? So I would say just the only conversations that we're having are how we can work smarter together. Together for the community. We're bringing jobs here at an unprecedented rate, not just our projects, but their projects as well. It's very exciting together for the children. We tell them that they're bright, beautiful children and we want bright, beautiful buildings for them. When you see this, it is hard to visualize students sitting in classrooms in fall 2024, but from your experience, you know it's possible to have this kind of transition in the time constraints you're working with. Right, getting out of the ground is the hardest part. Yeah. So once, once they get out of the ground and things start to go vertical, as they say, uh, it goes faster. Framing a foundation for education's future, set to take the test of time.
GCS wants to build smart together with transparency. That's why it launched this bond 2020 dashboard here for phase one. You can see school by school. It outlines the project cost, the construction status, the estimated opening date. Parents, you'll want to bookmark this page. I've linked you here in this story on our website, WFMYNews2.com.